You're listening to the Positive Professional Podcast with your host, me, Tracy Yvonne. This podcast is a weekly conversation about all things mental health, self-care, and wellness. And there'll be sprinkles of positivity, mindfulness, and guided meditations. Welcome back to Season 6, Episode 10. Today I'm going to be talking about a powerful chemical messenger in your brain that plays a major role in how you feel, what you crave, and how you move through your day. And that is dopamine. If you've ever heard the phrase dopamine hit before, especially in the context of social media or sugar, you already know how important it is. But dopamine is about so much more than pleasure. It's about motivation, mental health, and even how we develop habits. So let's talk about dopamine and how it works, how it affects your brain and behavior, and how things like screen time and overstimulation can lead to something called dopamine withdrawal, and how we can regulate dopamine to stay mentally and emotionally well. So let us begin with the science. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter, a chemical messenger that sends signals between nerve cells in the brain. It produced in several areas of the brain, but most notably in the substantia nigra and ventral tregmental area. These are parts of the brain that are deeply involved in reward, motivation, and movement. Dopamine isn't just about feeling good. Although it's often referred to as the brain's pleasure chemical, what it actually does is create motivation to pursue pleasure. So when you anticipate something exciting, like that first sip of coffee, the ding of a notification, or a compliment, dopamine fires. In this way, dopamine drives behavior. It's linked to goal-directed actions, learning, memory, and even attention span. It's a key player in our motivation reward system. So now let's connect dopamine to mental health. Low dopamine levels have been linked to depression, especially when it persists with low energy, lack of motivation, or inability to feel pleasure. ADHD, where it's often a dysfunction in the dopamine system making it harder to regulate attention and impulse control. Addiction. Substances and behaviors that increase dopamine can become highly reinforcing. And Parkinson's disease. This is a neurodegenerative disorder that results from the death of dopamine-producing neurons. When dopamine signaling is too low, we might feel unmotivated, tired, or even hopeless. When it's too high or dysregulated, like certain types of mania or psychosis, it can cause impulsivity, aggression, or racing thoughts. The key takeaway is that dopamine needs to be in balance. So let's talk about the digital world. Every time we check our phones, swipe on TikTok, or even play a video game, we're triggering small dopamine releases. These platforms are designed to be dopamine traps. Likes, shares, and constant novelty keep us coming back. And I'm gonna share more in the next segment.
Intermittent reinforcement is a powerful behavioral loop that teaches our brain to expect reward just enough to stay engaged. And over time, we can become desensitized to regular dopamine levels, requiring more and more stimulation to feel the same effect. Especially in children and teens, this creates problems, such as short attention spans, increased irritability when devices are removed, mood swings, and trouble with real-world motivation, such as school or chores. For adults, the signs might be inability to concentrate without background noise or stimulation, impulsive online shopping, doom scrolling before bed, and feeling flat or anxious without constant input. So what happens when you try to take a break from overstimulation? That's where dopamine withdrawal comes in. Although it's not the same as substance withdrawal, it has similar symptoms because your brain has grown dependent on high dopamine levels. When you remove those sources like social media or sugar, your brain experiences a dip in dopamine availability. In children, dopamine withdrawal might look like restlessness, meltdowns, saying I'm bored repeatedly, or mood swings. In adults, you might notice low mood or feeling unmotivated, anxiety, difficulty concentrating, or in constant urge to check something. It's uncomfortable, but it's temporary. And once your brain resets, natural dopamine sources start to feel pleasure again. The good news is you can support dopamine balance without extreme detoxes or rigid rules. So I'm going to share some science-backed tips. The first one is sleep. Getting seven to nine hours of quality sleep helps regulate neurotransmitter production. Dopamine receptors reset during sleep. Exercise. Cardio and strength training naturally boost dopamine and serotonin. Even 10-minute Brisk walk helps. Sunlight. Exposure to natural sunlight boosts dopamine and helps to regulate your circadian rhythm. Aim for that at least 20 minutes a day. Eat dopamine-supporting foods. Include foods that are rich in almonds, bananas, eggs, fish, or chicken, as well as antioxidants such as berries, leafy greens, or green tea. Meditation and breath work. These reduce stress and inflammation. They also regulate dopamine release by promoting present moment awareness. Dopamine fasting, and you should be doing this gently. Try intentional breaks from high stimulation activities. For example, this can be no phone for an hour in the morning, one on-screen free day per week, and replace scrolling with journaling or reading. Next is to set and achieve small goals. Each time you complete a task, especially one that you chose, you release dopamine. Break big goals into smaller chunks and check them off. And engage in flow activities. Do things where you lose track of time, such as painting or building something, gardening or dancing. These promote natural dopamine flow. So let's recap. Dopamine is your brain's motivator. It drives you to seek rewards from habits and stay focused. But in a world full of overstimulation, we often overwork our dopamine systems, leading to burnout, attention issues, and mood imbalances. By understanding how dopamine works, we can make small changes to regulate it naturally, support mental health, and reclaim joy in everyday moments. listening and supporting this podcast and make sure you're clicking the like and subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Stay safe, be well, and don't forget to be the best version of you.